really hate how the Sony's don't have flip out screen, so I really can never tell if I'm in frame or in focus. All right, much better. What's happening guys? So as February comes to an end, I thought I'd do a quick video on my February favorites of the different products that I've really been using this month and just show the new things that I bought that have really helped me in my college daily life. So, all right, so first and by far my favorite product probably of the year, I carry this thing with me every single day. I kid you not, that is are my AirPods. Um, Apple, oh crap, they're not even in here. Whew, that could have been bad. These are literally in my ears all the time. Whether I'm walking to class, whether I'm studying, whether I'm editing a video, these have come in handy so much and they're so convenient. The fact that they fit in this case, just fit in your pocket is so seamless. They integrate so well with all my Apple devices and I don't have enough good words for the Apple AirPods. They're comfortable, they hardly ever fall out of my ear and the sound quality is just incredible for the tiny size that they are. I did a whole unboxing and review that I'll link down below, but if you guys haven't gotten on the AirPod gang yet, highly recommend it because once you have a pair, you'll never go back. I hate using wired headphones now because Bluetooth just makes it so much easier and the fact that it seamlessly connects every time you pop this open, it automatically connects with your iPhone or iPad or Mac. It just makes life so much easier. The Siri function works really well. Siri, play music. Oh, and it's already playing. And then you take it out and it automatically pauses the music. The only thing is you have to remember to put them back in the case or else you have a really high chance of losing them. Cool feature though, they have Find My AirPods on Find My iPhone app, which is a huge bonus. They play this like ringing sound out of the AirPods so that you can find it if you ever lose them. Really great feature, kudos to Apple. My only complaint and wish for the AirPods 2.0 is if they made like the slide feature to change the volume or something that can change the tracks without having to pull out my phone. But a workaround that I found that works pretty well and I use it pretty often is using your Apple Watch if you have one to change the volume and then to change the tracks because when you start playing music, it'll pop up here as well. So you can easily change tracks, change volume, anything like that. All right, so number two is this Cove commuter speaker. I bought this from a channel called Teaching Ben's Fashion when they had a promo code for it. And ever since I got it, it's been my favorite Bluetooth speaker. I know Bose has a lot. I know a lot of different companies will make portable Bluetooth speakers, but to be honest, this has probably the best bang for your buck. It's got a lot of different settings. You have indoor mode and outdoor mode, so the bass will change depending on what setting it's on. You can control the volume with this dial, which works pretty well, actually, and then this you can use to skip tracks, which is something that not a lot of speakers have built into it. It's also very portable. It's waterproof, meaning that you can bring this to the beach, you can bring this to the lake, and it should be fine. Um, you have Siri paired with it, and overall it's just been a great speaker to bring to any types of events, especially in college where you don't want to bring, bring it around like a subwoofer or like a huge Harman Kardon speaker. I leave this in my dorm room so that we have good speakers set up already but then if i'm on the go i always bring this just because it's super portable and really easy to use okay my third favorite is this sony rx100 mark 4. i purposely didn't get the mark 5 just because i didn't think there were enough features that justified the cost difference but the mark 4 has worked perfectly fine and is a really great vlogging camera for anyone who's really trying to get in this field then i can't recommend a camera more than this one over the Canon G7X just because I think there's better video qualities on Sony. Although the Canon autofocus may be a little bit better, in my opinion, I think that this is a little bit more compact and Sony's just really been killing the game in their video market. I haven't had too much time to go into all of the details just because I've been using this for running gun vlogging. I've shot like my past two or three vlogs on this and they've all turned out fine. My only complaint is that the lighting and the exposure sometimes doesn't adjust properly. So that can be kind of a pain but the slow motion works really well. It looks just as great as my Sony A7S that I'm filming on. And the best thing about it is that it's so portable. It literally just fits right in my pocket anywhere I go. I bring it to my classes so I don't have to lug around a huge setup to vlog with. And to be honest, it just has so many of the same qualities and does 120 frames per second slow motion, which is better than my $2,000 camera right here. So it's been a great investment. I bought it used on eBay for around $650 but I don't regret it at all. And if you're really trying to look for a next level vlogging camera, but don't want to invest in a DSLR, this is the way to go. All right, so next up are these Chelsea boots. I just got these in the mail a few days ago. I haven't had too much time to wear them on any outfits or anything, but just look at them. This brown leather color is beautiful. I've really been looking for a pair of Chelsea boots for a while now. And when I saw this on New Republic by 
Mark McNary. I'll link it down below. Um, I knew I had to cop it. They feel pretty comfortable. They're about $100, but they're the perfect boots for a lot of different outfits. And overall, it seems to be a really popular trend right now. So before it gets too hot where you can't wear boots, I definitely recommend picking up a pair. If you don't like Chelsea boots, I also have a pair of Chucka boots. Um, those look great with a lot of outfits, especially like jeans. And All right, and finally is this Levi's denim jacket. You guys have seen me wear this in a ton of my vlogs, and that's just because I love this thing. Not only is it super warm, but it's super fashionable. It's totally been the trend this winter, and I've seen a lot of people starting to pop up with it around campus this is the this is the Levi's brand I bought it on Black Friday but it has this fur and lining which is so soft and it just looks great with every outfit you pair this with a pair of black jeans and, and th those Chelsea boots I was talking about you have a fire outfit no one will even be on the same level of the fashion clout that you have with this bad boy <laughs>